I wanted to take time to reflect on like love and happiness because that's really what brings them together and what this day is all about. Some people spend their lives chasing an idea of it. Some people figure out what it means and how to fit it into their lives and how to make it part of their day-to-day -day life. And I would say that there are people who have love and happiness, find them wherever they go. And that latter category is definitely an embodiment of Brittany and Jordan. They find love and happiness wherever they are. When we started hearing about Jordan, I was quick to learn several things. One, it is not Mott's, like the alf like the applesauce. It is Moat. Sister that ma of mine that used to steal my clothes and was the reason I replaced my bedroom doorknob was now meeting her match with Jordan, who hides her face wash when she doesn't put it away. And three, my sister has become the best version of herself as a teacher, a friend, and a sister but now as a partner with Jordan and Copy. My beautiful, sweet Brittany, today you have inherited a moats man. <laughs> From my experience, that has been a little bit of Andy Griffith and a whole lot of John Wayne. Wearing a black dress? Yeah, with yeah. the tights underneath. <laughs> what? <You're> like, <laughs> oh my. Hi, Jordan. Take you, Brittany, to be my wedded wife. I, Brittany, take you, Jordan, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Let love and faithfulness never forsake you. Bind them around your necks and around your hearts. And the more you understand what Jesus is in terms of your marriage, you'll understand what it means to have a happy and fulfilling marriage because you'll understand love is centered around forgiveness. ahead and have a kiss. Gosh. Please.
I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Motes. first time I met Brittany, I could tell right away she was well more advanced in life than other girls her age. Living on her own, college completed, and a good job. Getting to know her has been nothing but great, and I'm happy to have her as a sister-in-law. Jordan, I can proudly say that I am overjoyed that you found Brittany years ago and stop, never stop calling out her tone and attitude. You have an unmatched zest for life and you always make the most of your life. And that's how I know your life with Brittany will never be dull or boring. The last couple of years I've watched them do some big things together preparing them for their life and future family. I couldn't be more happy for them. Enjoy spending time together, and remember it's all about respect, keeping Jesus Christ as your superstar, and as Grandma Bear would tell you tonight, don't forget to say your prayers. God bless the new Mr. and Mrs. Motes.